Hello my friends, it's Dana. Welcome back to Decorate with Dana. Welcome to another decorating video. Today we are refreshing the dining room. And when I say refreshing, I'm not doing anything major like my entryway. I'm just moving things around. I have a couple of new pieces I'm adding in there. And then I'm also going to be decorating with a lot of that decor that I shared in my last home goods haul. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope it gives you some decorating inspiration. It's a spring decorate with me, but it's also like a dining room refresh. So it's a little bit of both. It's not just specific to spring per se. I mean, besides some florals, I'm going to add in and stuff. Um, but it's just a refresh of the space. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and also thank you to Easy Plant for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to share them with you here in just a minute. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope it gives you just a little bit of decorating inspiration. Before we get started, I wanted to thank Easy Plant for sponsoring today's video. If you've been watching me lately or if you are new here, I have been saying for a while that I wanted to add real plants to my home, but for a couple of reasons I have not. First of all, I have two kitties, one that is absolutely obsessed with plants and flowers, so I know that whatever plant I bring into this house, he will try to nibble on if it is in his reach at all. So of course, I want him to be safe, so I need to bring in non-toxic plants for my cats. The second reason I don't have real plants is that I do not have a green thumb at all. That's where Easy Plant comes in. Easy Plant makes keeping real plants in your home easy by offering an innovative self-watering system. All you have to do is open the water reservoir on each plant and fill it with water once a month and your plant will take care of itself from there. I'm so grateful to Easy Plant because they have made my desire to decorate with real plants a reality. They have so many great selections on their website, anywhere from small to huge plants, and the pots that the plants come in are great as well. They offer colors and styles sure to fit anybody's space. They also have amazing collections of plants and they even have them categorized as low light and pet friendly. So it was easy to find the perfect plant collection for my space. The one I loved the most and I chose was the Nature's Trifecta in the Woodland Pots, which is a perfect color palette for my space. And of course it is pet friendly. I also chose the Large Cat Palm. And when I say it's large, I mean it is large. It is absolutely beautiful and makes such a statement in my home. They also offer a 90 day guarantee and free online plant expert support. The plants are shipped for free right to your door in protective packaging so your plant is safe and happy when it arrives to you. I love the entire concept of Easy Plant and I'm excited to replace some of the artificial plants in my home with the real deal. Be sure to shop my link in my description box to get 10% off Easy Plant and thank you so much to Easy Plant for sponsoring today's video. The first thing I wanted to do in the dining room was hang this really beautiful piece of abstract art that I found from Home Goods. I showed it in a couple videos back. I did a Home Goods shop with me and haul. I'm going to be using quite a bit of that decor in this video, so I will link that up here in the cards if you did not see that video. Shining from within, I can tell that you're tough. Okay, I love this rug, but my ultimate plan is to move this in my office and I want this space to be just a tad bit more neutral so that every season when I add in decor, it will go a little bit better. This rug is pretty neutral, but it does have a lot of um, kind of rust colors and it has some blues and stuff. I think it'll go really nicely in my office with the faux brick wall. I just wanted to replace this with just something a little bit more neutral. You're the first. 
first thing in the morning and the last Baby, you're my future and you are my past Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Ordering a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong Plant your seeds and watch them grow a couple things I want to talk about. First of all, I love this rug. If you guys know me, you know I love my checkered patterns. It is very uh, trendy right now, but I think it's very timeless. So I love checkered patterns. Now I have to get this rug to lay just a little better. It's got to settle a little and it will definitely lay flatter. Um, this is a washable rug. So that's huge. This is the Ada washable rug from at home. It's part of the honey bloom line, which I absolutely love this line. Um, so I just think that this is so beautiful. And I think that rug looks perfect with that piece of art up on the wall. I love the way everything is tying together. So I moved my table in here. My goal for this spring is to refinish this table. I, I do love the kind of classic, just basic style of this table. It is pulling a tad bit too red for me. Um, my ultimate goal is to have it closer to this color of the sideboard and then the bench that I just purchased for in here, that color, because that the color of the bench matches a little bit more of the sideboard. So this spring, when it gets warm enough, I'm going to pull this out, sand it down, and refinish it, but it'll do for now. Um, so I moved that in here, so now we're just going to move in all of the chairs and everything and then start the decorating. I went back and forth in here as to what I wanted to put here. If I wanted to do two nicer end accent chairs or if I wanted to do a bench. I decided to go the bench route because this table is kind of a rustic table and I feel like the bench just really ties it in with the four black Windsor back chairs. So the two end chairs do have arms and then the other two black chairs do not have arms. And then I think that this bench is just just a perfect match for this table. Not so much color wise, like I said before, I do want to um, sand the table down and make it just a little bit more closer to the color of the bench. So now I just wanna do a really simple tablescape or not even a tablescape, just a centerpiece on the table. So this jug is from Pottery Barn and then this beautiful travertine vase was again in that home goods haul. It is absolutely stunning. So then I like to make it feel a little bit more casual and feeling more like a dining room. So I have these beautiful plates and bowls that are from at home. And then I have this beautiful checkered napkin that I think was from Target. They may still carry these, I'm not sure. So I just layered in a couple of these little bowl fillers that were from Home Goods. And then these beautiful tulips are from Amazon. They are the Real Touch tulips. And I think it just makes a really beautiful, neutral yet springy centerpiece for the table. Over on the sideboard, I wanted to add this beautiful large vase. This is from Hobby Lobby. I got this a while ago, but I do think it is something that they always have in stock. And then I'm not sure what type of flowers these are. These are also from Hobby Lobby. I'm kind of fluffing them because they were in my storage bin, so they're a little flat, but I always constantly playing with these and fluffing them out but they look really beautiful and i love these florals for springtime so i'm just making a really pretty arrangement in this large vase
I was playing around with different items that I wanted to add next to the large vase, but ultimately I decided to add my home body book and then that travertine sphere that I also got from Home Goods in my last haul. I just think it makes a really beautiful decorative object and it's neutral and travertine to me is just timeless and beautiful. The other side of the sideboard, this checkered vase came from World Market. And then I have my uh, picture stand that was from McGee & Co. And a really pretty neutral landscape piece that I found from Amazon. In my glass display cabinet on the top shelf I am adding a set of Amazon vases and then on the other side I have my For the Love of White book and a canister that I got quite a while ago from Target. It's just nice and neutral. The shelf just below it I am adding this really pretty plant. This also again came from to our, uh, this one actually came from Target, but it was a couple of years ago, and it's just got some really light, subtle pink flowers. It's so beautiful. And then I'm just adding this white bowl that is from Target also probably a year or two ago. You guys, I'm using a ton of decor that I already had, and just adding these chunky black beads to the, that bowl, and that is all I'm going to do on that shelf. Coming down here to the bottom shelf, I am adding another book. Oh, and then Kova has to make her appearance in every single video. She's so darn cute, so I just had to keep this in. But I'm adding this really pretty jug that I found at a small local shop in Florida when we were there visiting. And then this candlestick holder came from at home. It's just gold and has a candle. Uh, or has a handle not a, and a candle <laughs> the candle came from actually Ireland my daughter brought it home for me when she was visiting last spring and then to the other side I am just adding a antique jug so if you guys haven't noticed I love mixing old and new so I kind of keep it modern and yet I love to add in antique pieces also because antique pieces there's nothing like them you can't duplicate it so then to the top of this I just have this gold um tray that has two handles that again I found at a small shop in Florida then my match cloche and my anthropology candle and this is how I kept the display cabinet very neutral but pops of spring with that really pretty plant and just kept it light and bright and added pops of old and new in there This little kind of bar area that we have in the dining room I wanted to add a little lamp over here I actually don't have a bulb in that right now I have to get a bulb that's why I did not turn it on in this but um, I love adding a little lamp over here because this corner can get a little dark so I just added this small little lamp that I got from Target and then I figured this was a perfect place to add one of my beautiful little easy plant plants it looks so 
pretty here. And then I wanted to give just a little nod to Easter because Easter is only in about a, a week, I think, when you are seeing this video. This cute little bunny picture came from Walmart. And then I'm also just adding this little polka dotted bunny. I try him in the basket first, but he's too hidden that I pull him out and put him next to the picture. And this bunny I found at TJ Maxx. I think textiles can cozy up a space so much. So I am just adding this beautiful cream colored knit throw to the bench just to warm up the space a little bit. So this is a kind of vintage inspired bench that my husband and I made. And right now I don't have anywhere else to put it. So I put it under this beautiful abstract art. And then I just added this pillow that came from Walmart. It is from the My Texas House line. It is so pretty. And on the other side, you saw it was just kind of a checkered kind of plaid print. So I can just turn this around when Easter is over. And then I'm adding, adding my gathering basket here and just some really simple florals in there. I think this makes such a beautiful little spot over here in the dining room. Like I said, the bench won't stay here forever, but for now, it's really the only place I have to put it. Okay, you guys, that is going to wrap up my spring dining room refresh and decorate with me. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that it gave you a little bit of decorating inspiration. Don't forget to check out Easy Plant using the link down in my description box. And thank you again to Easy Plant for sponsoring today's video. I will see you all in my next spring decorating video. I hope you have a great day.